So I say yesterday, Eric drug me to a store called Ollie's Bargain Mart. Ollie's Bargain Outlet. I call it the Bargain Mart. And I'm not one for going to stores that have a lot of junky stuff. And when we went there, I was really uh, surprised. surprised. I was concerned because I didn't want to go there and come home with a basket full of junk. And um, I was very surprised at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. And look at all the stuff that we got for seriously rock bottom prices. So join me for a haul, the stuff we got at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. <music> So when I walked in that place, I was like, wow, this place is packed with stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description to our shopping trip, as well as I'll put a link up above. Um, so let's get to this. So this was in a former Baby's RS. So you might have a Ollie's pop up in your town because they tend to be going into old Toys R Us or old Baby's R Us store locations. So our first item is they have a lot of books there. They have some cookbooks. The first one I got is the Coleman Outdoor Adventure Cookbook. I paid $2.99 for this cookbook. And this cookbook looks really great. Look at this, blistered tomatoes with ricotta and pesto. This is everything for like expert advice, campsite tips, gear guide. It's the official cookbook from the Ultimate Camping Authority. And this is right up our alley. So we got pancakes, mm -hmm. burgers, that's fish, that's cauliflower. Um, look at this stuff. Holy cow. Roasted chicken on salad loaf, chicken panini, grilled pork. Uh, wow. This is amazing. French toast. This is, this looks, this is making me hungry. Mm -hmm. um, cheeseburger soup. That looks interesting. Uh, garlic marinated strip steak. Eric could probably try that recipe out. Campground meatloaves, uh, beef hash. Spicy sausage and pepper hobo packs. We did a hobo pack last year. Um, those are really good. Bourbon honey baby back ribs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to be doing some outdoor cooking. I also got this Southern Living Home Cooking Favorites. This was $3.99. Um, says U.S. normally $24. And this is, our, this is Home Cooking Favorites from Southern Living Magazine. Uh, you know this is going to be good, right? Granolas, uh, banana pudding cheesecake, caramel cakes, pizzas. <laughs> this looks really good. Um, brownies. Wow. Okay. We're going to have to cook some of that stuff, right? Okay, so we have two massively silly items here. And the reason we got them is we wanted to try these out. They're little novelty items to cook with. One is Eric's and one is mine. So he can do a show on his, which I really don't understand his. His is totally ridiculous. Mine's ridiculous, but his is even more ridiculous. So maybe we need to, we need to have like a series of ridiculous appliances that we find places, right? So his is an edible spoon maker. He paid $5.99 for this. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure why you would want to make an edible uh, spoon. The box over. They got pictures. But you make these spoons and then you fill them with stuff. And appetizers, desserts, ice creams, and snacks. 
and then you eat it when you're done. No dishes. Then you get to eat the spoon. Eric is very excited about the fact that he gets to eat his spoon, right? So you can use Pillsbury, Poppin' Fresh Biscuits, Grands, chocolate chip cookie dough, puff pastry, and you can make a spoon to eat your soup, and then you can eat the spoon. <laughs> If the spoon survives. That is ridiculous, Eric. Okay. You roll the dough out. Okay, so Eric is going to be, this. he was very excited about this. I think it's kind of ridiculous, so we'll see. All right, now it's your turn. How? Okay, so you'll, you'll judge if his is more ridiculous than mine. I got a hot dog steamer. Yay! Uh. The steam o -matic. You put your hot dogs in here. I'm going to put sausages in there. Buns, and it steams your buns. You can put eight dogs in here. This is awesome, right? It is so cute in the store. The price on this, this says $12.99, but I didn't pay $12.99. It was on sale for like, it was like $3.99, wasn't it? Yes, I'm cheap. Yeah, it was I like hope, on sale. I hope they didn't charge. I hope I didn't even pay twelve dollars for this. <laughs> okay, so we'll do a battle of the silly appliances. I'll do a video on my hot dog machine. He can do a video on his spoon maker, and maybe I'll put a poll up on my Facebook page, and we'll do a What's Up Wednesday and give the results of who liked what better, the hot dog cooker or the spoon maker. Okay, next up, I've got some bag clips. We always lose these. These are from Core Kitchen, which I really like their products. I paid $3.99 for them, and there's eight clips in here uh, that are magnetic, so you can put it on the refrigerator. So they're like chip clips, and I seriously needed some of these. Uh, time out. Well, I have nothing against those personally. The last set of clips we bought were from the dollar store, and I think we have one left out of eight. And those are actually dishwasherable. So I don't know what happened to seven of them. They just disappeared. If these ones actually cost three times that. These I'm should fearful. be dishwasher because they're they're plastic. plastic. Yeah. I hope we don't lose them. They. So next up, I got these solar rope lights. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are kind of junky, right? Yeah, we get down the pole. Too. <laughs> I'm going to. Every year we go camping and we rent a golf cart and this campground is like totally insane with people in their golf carts, like hundreds of them. Yeah, but it's also Redneck Weekend. And believe yeah, me, yeah. It's and fun. they decorate them. So these are solar. So I'm going to decorate our golf cart with these rope lights. These were $9.99 a box and they're 28 feet. My boo's going to have the flyest golf cart, won't we? Yeah. So I got some maraschino cherries for some pineapple upside down cake. That was $1.59. Um, Eric got himself a bottle of Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Even though we make our own, I think he just wanted to try this. It says it has made with Jack Daniels whiskey. Um, and I think we only paid a buck something for that. And Eric also got a bottle of Liam Perrin's steak sauce. This was $1.49. Mm -hmm. What? We potentially found a butcher who actually out here on the East Coast will provide me with some try tips. So if any of you on the West Coast know what they are and everybody on the East Coast has no idea what they are, I might use a little bit of that to do the marinade. Okay, next up, I think some of you are going to laugh at this because you're going to say, oh, Amy, she just loves her all clad, right? Well, I had to get a pan, and I did get one. <laughs> I got this little, like, butter warming pan. It's from Rachel Ray. Um, it's nonstick. It was $9.99. Um, I thought it was kind of cute. I like the orange color, and it's nonstick, so... 
sort of like a little beater pan for me. So little butter warmer from Rachel Ray. A couple things for camping in 4th of July. The very first thing is I got this plastic tablecloth that says barbecue, grilling, all that fun stuff. It's sort of a wipeable one. It's got a soft background, back, and it's like $2.99. I thought that was kind of cute for our picnic tables. And I also got these for our 4th of July tablescape. They are a uh, little like red, white, and blue placemats. I got six of these. I thought this would be really cute for 4th of July, so we're going to be doing a tablescape for that. And these were $1.89 a piece, so you can't beat that, right? So we have our placemats for 4th of July. So these are for something that I have behind me. I want to do a little bit of planting. I want to plant some Anaheim peppers, some bell peppers, fun stuff like this. So this is a little plant caddy, and I got three of these because I got three pots for the deck for these. So these were $4.99 a piece. So uh, let me get the pot and see how these look. So these are the pots that I got. I got three of these long pots. I'm gonna plant some herbs or something in there. Not sure, these were $4.99 a piece. And then I got these pots, I got three of these. These were $7.99. So one of the reasons I wanted these little cards is so I can move them around a little bit, but also to keep them up off the deck because I don't want them directly on there so they can affect the finish of the deck. Um, so that keeps them up off of there. So these are kind of cute. So we got three of these bad boys. Ah! Wow. <laughs> So these were $7.99 each, $7.99 each, so eight bucks. And the little carts were $4.99, so five bucks. So we're gonna plant a few things in my garden, right? It's going to be probably the third week of April, um, cause we're going on a little vacation and then we'll be planting some stuff after we get back cause I don't wanna have to, you know, they're not being watered while we're gone. So that's what these are for. So I got these planters with the little rollers for the deck outside. So the last thing I got is this Chefman air fryer. And what I think is interesting about it is it looks like an oven. It has shelves like a regular oven. And um, I really wanted to try one of these out. So it also has a basket in here for doing a... Uh, you can put anything in that basket. You can do uh, french fries, you can do all kinds of stuff. So the basket rotates, and it also has a thing for a rotisserie. So you can put a chicken in this thing. So I'm interested in checking this thing out. It gets good reviews online. This actually normally is $149, and at Ollie it was 99. So I really wanted to get this just to try it out. Looks kind of neat, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a lot different than your regular air fryer with this basket and with the uh, with it having shelves like this. It's a variety of things in there. Yeah. So I think this will be interesting. We'll do an unboxing and we're going to do some cooking in this. So stay tuned for that. So cooks, that was my Ollie's bargain outlet haul. My opinion on Ollie's is it was a fun place. We went in there, there was tons of stuff. You'll have a good time if you have one of those near you or if you get one. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of these type of stores that's filled with a bunch of junk. It was, I was surprised that they had some pretty quality goods in there um, and it was a lot of fun. So Ollie's Bargain Outlet gets my thumbs up. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can catch me on social media. Links are down in the description. Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. My group on Facebook is Amy Learns to Cook. And also on Instagram, 
I'm at Cooking with Amy. Ollie's Hoarding Mart. <laughs> Sick or sound. And I'll put a link down in the description and up in the air for... Thank you.